So let's get started with descriptic programming. You've probably heard a lot about descriptic programming. Descriptic programming is all about creating your own scripts using Quick Test Professional without using record and run and without using the object repository. So you will be completely writing your scripts from scratch. So if you have an application, you can open the browser, navigate to the application URL, navigate to the application URL and perform tasks without recording anything or having anything in the object repository. So I created a new test, I clicked on new, I can see my object repository is blank, nothing is recorded. So let's start writing our own scripts. We are in expert view. So instead of depending on QTP to record things for us, let's dig into the advanced stuff and write our own scripts and take the full control. The benefits of using descriptive programming, and let's take a quick overview of that. So the benefit of using descriptive programming, don't worry, I'll make the font bigger. Okay. So the benefit of this is it basically increases your efficiency and it also, your efficiency and it also makes the script easier to modify. There we go. Makes the script easier to modify. Let's say you have recorded something. If I open up an application and navigate to facebook.com If I record something, a script, and if something changes in the future, let's say um, they change the name of the email login box, this, this edit box, instead of saying email or form, they change it to ID. Put your email ID, please. So what if they do that? In that case, my QTP script I recorded will fail because it will look for what it recorded and that will have changed. So a benefit of descriptive programming is that you can take full control and parameterize a lot of things, a lot of these values and properties by scripting. So if you have any major or minor changes within the application, your script will still run fine because you have the full control of the scripts. So the main change is if you use descriptive programming your script will still recognize those objects and perform these actions based on your steps. Okay, so let me close the browser. Let's get started by writing our first line of descriptic programming. What is the first thing? What is the first thing that we do to test a web application in order to test the web application? First, we open a browser and then we navigate to the application. So if I want to open a browser and navigate to Facebook, instead of depending on this record feature of QTP, I'll write it on my own. If you want to open a browser in VB scripting, in VB script, the code to open a browser is system util dot run followed by ie 
explore.exe. I explore.exe. And I close the quotation, and that has to be in a quotation. Okay, so if I put a comma and another quotation, and I write down HTTP colon forward slash www.facebook.com. I close the quotation. This is the code to open a browser and navigate to facebook.com. Okay, so if I run this, let's see what happens. So it did open a browser and navigate to facebook.com. So this is our very first code for descriptic programming and writing our own scripts in QTP and VB scripts. So in the next video, let's continue and start going deep into our codes and write a few more lines of codes and browse QTP, descriptic programming, and VB scripting features. Thank you.